Hey, what's happening my friends? Today, you can see up there, I had some roof repair that I did myself. I have had some wind that came through, I ripped some shingles off, so I went through and repaired a section. And in order to do so, I had to have some shingles laying over the edge. Now in order to cut the ends off, I normally would rely on the, most people would probably just think like using a utility knife like this, my sharp blade. But actually today I'm going to review and just talk about the, I don't know if everybody knows about this or not, but the hook blade. This one is made by Milwaukee. I'm going to go on the roof and the recommendations are to cut about three-eighths of an inch past the drip edge. I've read some people say, you know, they like to go a little more like a half inch. I find that to be just a little bit too much. We're going to go up on the roof and I'm going to show you how this hook blade will rip through those shingles and give me a clean edge and hopefully my neighbors, it's been like this for a few days, they, <laughs> I didn't have any hook blades on hand so I decided to wait for a hook blade, make a video of this and hopefully it'll help some people out that don't know that much about roofing or have just seen the hook blades in the departments and really don't know what it's all about. So that's, all right, let me open all the way up, yeah, so there, that's what I'm here for today. Just to show you something rather simple, but hopefully it will be um, of much benefit to you. So let's go on the roof and check it out. All right, so this is my roof. It's going on about oh, 18 years now. This um, is the original shingle right here. Let's see, let me get my hand in the camera. More like a gray right here. Kind of like uh, the ash out of a wood stove almost. And that's actually called Onyx Black. This is Onyx Black, right out of the package. It's been on the roof for just a little while now. And I'm going, instead of using the regular blade to cut my shingles right here off, clean, follow that line, I upgraded to the Milwaukee hook blades. There's five in a package. As you can see, it says ideal for roofing and let's see what else it says up to two times stronger i chose these over the stanley blades iron carbide edge when you're up on a roof i don't think you want to spend that much time monkey around switching them out so the more use you can get out of it the better so let's just see if it has anything else to say utility blades are made of finely dispersed carbides in a steel matrix which gives the blade longer life and more durability in tough applications. Model number 4822-1932. All right, so what I did, I put them in a blade. This, uh, it does slide out. They recommend putting them in a fixed blade where they just screw on, they don't come out. I find this one where it screws in pretty decent. Oops, oh, that one fell out. But if you had like the type where you have like a push button and it pulls the blade out, as you can just see that blade fell out, that's no good. So with this type of blade right here, this type of situation, I think it's gonna work pretty well for me. It's a little sticky here. All right, let's open it up. Let me move in position and I'll show you how well it trims. All right, so let's open it up all the way, as you can see. My sharp hook blade. I'll move into position. I'm just gonna follow the same line right here. I'm gonna redo this roof probably next summer myself and I would hope to do a video series on that. I have some fall protection things I wanna show. When I'm up here only for a couple minutes, I'm not putting on the fall protection. I'm on a 612 roof pitch, but it would take me longer to install that harness than it would to actually just make this simple repair. So, you can just see it. Normally you would chalk line this, but since I'm just doing a few shingles here, I just kind of eyeball it. See how nice that works? All right. You can even do it from a ladder down below and go from the opposite way if you want to. I've seen guys do that. You can work both ways at it. Here I'm going through actually two shingles. Not too bad. Oops. 
mosquitoes are kind of bad. It's the sun's just starting to go down here. It's uh, just a few days after Labor Day. We just had a lot of rain this summer. Normally, I never have mosquitoes around me up here, but with all the rain we've had this year, it's a different story. Alright, I'll try from down below. It's not really a good idea to pull a blade towards you. I'm not really a fan of that. But to see the edge, it's nice to be hanging over on this side. So then you can see what you got going on. There. looks pretty good just hanging over enough all right there we go that's the hook blade okay my friends so this concludes my video showing you how these hook blades work and you can see the distance from up here to there it's pretty clean I just followed the the lines where I did the improvement but when I redo my roof next spring I'm gonna run a chalk line from up here to down here and the shingles are going to hang over about three-eighths of an inch so that's my video. I hope you find it useful. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. It would really help support my channel. Thanks for watching my friends. Have a great day. Okay, the hook blade, as you can see, does more than just roofing underlayment. I have some Tyvek house wrap. I'm just gonna trim the end off a little bit. You can just see how it just works beautifully cutting that. And what else does it cut? Roofing felt. Here, let me turn it the other way around. I have to have some high performance roofing felt. This is a tiger paw. And let me just turn the camera down so you can see a little better. So you just follow the line there. Well, I don't want to trim that much off, let it go to waste. So you can just see how. easy that cuts. All right. It's a beautiful thing.